Chess is fun. Let's play some more one minute. Uh, let's go for... Try to trade off the light squared bishop and the stone wall. Quick bishop b5. I should have waited for bishop d3 first. I gave him a free tempo. But I love trading queens in this line because their c1 bishop is so bad. So bad. I play f6. Get rid of their good knight. All their hopes and dreams are on that knight. Uh, I guess king d7. Is this helping? Don't I get c4 now? And c3? Uh, what do I even want? Let's take c4. And then let's double. e5 looks good. But wasn't. All right. Let's prepare to double. It's really hard for them to defend c3. They probably have to play rook a3 and rook c1. And then I can play d4 if I want to. Do I want to? Probably. Yeah. Let's take it with the bishop. Might be wrong. Um, Try to get to b2 to d2, or b2 to a2 is probably actually more useful. Okay, let's still swing around, because uh, that pawn looks hard for them to defend. If their knight defends it, then rook e8 check might be annoying for them. I totally missed this. Okay. Am I blundering? I might be blundering. Um, what am I doing? Go faster. Ah, I just hung the bishop. What am I doing? I don't know. Uh, this is a disaster. Stop g5. Let's go faster. That's not actually mate, so... It's close, though. Always check. Might be mate. Get behind the pawn. Check. Might be mate. Almost hanging mates, but they're not going for them. Not sure why. Yeah. Alright. Bad start. 0 for 1. But abolish ice indeed. I agree. I think that player has had a lot of accounts, because I've definitely played more games against them than I think it was saying. Let's go Queen's Gambit. And then complain that I don't know what I'm doing. I like these bishop f4 lines against the king's indian. I think c5 responses are the best. I should push d5 as quickly as possible, and I missed that opportunity for a turn. Hmm. This is optimistic. I don't think I have problems on the long diagonal. I mean, I'm an idiot. I did. Ooh, interesting. All right, they have bishop b2, so they can still get the exchange. Okay. Um, I want to play against d6, I think. I would not like to let them get in d5 for free. I would like to play knight g5, and bishop f3, or bishop g4. Try to occupy squares. I blundered that, but bishop g4 might be okay. Which way do I want to do this? Let's take this one. And the important part is not so much which decision I made there, but that I did so quickly, which I failed to do. So that was serious error. Uh, rook e1. Does that win? Queen a8. I have queen a8. Okay. Uh, this now does win. Um, if rook e6, I have f5. So they can resign. Yeah, okay. So I found a trick. A little suspicious. Um, yeah, they needed to play queen a8 here, and then I thought maybe queen f6, and I was I think I was in okay shape. But um, but I really blew it. In response to this e5, what was I supposed to do? Just take d6, fe6. Ah, d6 is hanging. And I can insert g4 first, too, if I want it. And if bishop is, yeah, just d6 is hanging. Ah, did not see that at all. Alright, uh, one for two, I think? Somehow. Alright, let's get back over 2500. Crush Merasmus, 01. Okay. 
All right, let's have problems on the long diagonal again. Try to get in bishop b7 soon. I think I can play this. If a knight e5, queen d5, and they move their knight, I often have, um, like, queen g2, knight d4 discovered check tricks. So I'm not too worried about that. Maybe I'll play h6. Their bishop's annoying. That's not right. Now I've got to be very careful about h6, but as long as I don't blunder mate, I'm okay. Am I going to blunder mate? Maybe. We'll see. Probably going to play bishop takes f3, because knight f3, if they take bishop, I don't have time to take it, because they'll have mate on g7. So let's start with bishop f3. Because if they take pawn, they can now never really evict my knight. Uh, which means my king should be pretty safe. Uh, let's move over to the d-file. What's my queen doing out here? Mm hmm. I don't know. Really don't know. Gotta go faster though. I'm gonna try to swing my queen back. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, so let's get back some material. Because that's often a way to reduce confusion. Yeah, let's take this way. Threaten rook g3. Still threatening rook g3. Maybe they'll fall for it this time? I think they did. So that is checkmate. Yeah. Alright, that was, that was a reasonable one. I think I made a good practical decision to give back some material. Even though... Not, I mean, it's easy to get yourself in trouble justifying moves that way. I want to play e5, e6. And... I think I will. Knight f7. In the air. Do I need to rush it? No. But, don't see why I'd delay. I think my bishop might come back to g3 to keep uh, f2 secure, like in this line. And let's kick the knight. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Knight e4 seems like a good knight. Uh, I cannot take the things I'd like to take. Knight g5, maybe? Am I actually threatening f7? No. Ah. Making weak moves slowly, which is the worst way to play. Um, did I trap my knight? Hmm. Hmm. All right, that was terrible. Truly awful. Not showing how to face the perk. Well, I want an exchange. So, in that case, awful middle game play. Uh, but nicely handled by my opponent, I think. They found some nice active moves, like the in-between move taking on d4 I didn't see. Uh, I don't think I've been sharp defensively tactics-wise. I think I've been... I've spotted some decent tactics in the past few videos um, on the offensive side. But as like Dan Heisman likes to talk about, a lot of the tactics you should see in your calculations are defensive. And I don't think I'm seeing those. D5? Okay. I mean, I'm going to take on D4 and that'll fix my um, sketchy pawn. Uh, I don't know where they put their, their dark squared bishop. Rook B2 good? I hit A2. That seems annoying to defend. Mm. I have the two bishops, I'm up a pawn. I guess I won't be up a pawn, uh, up with the two bishops for long, but I, I'm up a pawn. Uh, maybe c5. I feel like if they take it, they have trouble holding it. I might just be wrong. c6, though, I can play f6. Okay. Sure. They've advanced their pawn, but has it done anything? Uh, which way do I want to go about this? Probably queen c6. How did they save their knight? 
Oh, they were attacking something. I am a buffoon. And now my bishop can't move. Ooh. Like I said, defensively I am uh, very suspicious right now. Okay. Queen h8 maybe? Alright, let's make sure they can't play to c6. No, they thought they found a way. I'm not sure they did. Okay. Let's keep that on. I can play a queen d5. Oh no, I just hung my queen. I wanted to play e4, and then I thought, what if I take it? And, uh, not the right response to the position. e4 did ruin what little threats I had with the bishop, but it is a pass pawn. I don't know what I was doing that one. Alright, this is, uh, how long has this video been going? I should make a move, not check the time. Alright, 11 minutes, that's fine. Uh, let's play for d4. Try to play sort of similarly to last time. But we somehow won a pawn out of the opening, so that's nice. Always check, it might be mate. It isn't. Let's just grab pawns. Let's not grab too many pawns. I always highlight by mistake. Ooh, that's an interesting move. Okay, take a pawn. Um, back. But where does my bishop go? I guess to b2. That's a real threat, bishop b2. Because f6, they do not want me to take. And their knight didn't have an obvious square. I guess that works. They threaten knight d2. If rook there, they have a queen b2. That's cute. Um, let's do this rook. If a queen b2, rook c8, rook c8, queen e4. Okay, let's break the queen's defense of the knight. Queen f5, where's your knight going? Fair enough. Um, I'm much too slow. Wow, I'm down to 9 seconds. What a disaster. Play rook c7, and hope they hang something, because I am busted. On the clock, not on the board. On the board, I'm fine. Far too slow, far too slow. Let's play a couple more and then call it a video. But any game where you're down 35 seconds to 7, you've done something deeply wrong or are playing someone much better than you. And I don't think it was someone much better than me, therefore, I had done something deeply wrong. Okay, let's keep, keep some pieces on in a peculiar way. Obviously a very comfortable Queen's Gambit decline for black. But I'll try to set up some annoying stone wally thing with f4. Nice. Immediately undermine it. Well played. Yeah. Okay. They can get d3, but I don't think they want to. Oh, I missed this. I thought I had done something uh like Forcing equalization. Alright, well now it's a draw. Because um, they don't have a good way out of this. Of course, I am rated 100 ish higher. Okay, not a draw. But their king's pretty passive and my king can march into g6. So now I have winning chances. That's pleasant. Okay. Threat and mate. No, don't want to threaten it again like that. Um, okay, let's get behind their pawn. Probably bungled this, because I was probably winning a turn ago. But if I can just push the G and H pawns, I win. So I don't know what they're doing, because they're not stopping me from a straightforward plan. can in fact win this. That's... Yeah. Alright.
Okay, so I think after somewhat extended break, I'm a 2,500-ish bullet player while talking. CD4 is good here. Um, uh, Queen A7 almost wins my rook there. All right, let's try to just make moves. Make them quickly. I have the two bishops. I probably want bishop g7. For some reason, my brain kind of wants bishop h6, but, like, why? Why? Dunno. Uh, importantly, I control d7. So I'm going to have to contest the d-file. Uh, I guess king takes. If g5... Ooh, they ordered this well. Okay, let's go king c8. So I do hit their knight. Gives me one critical turn to figure things out about d7. They can play knight d7, rook g8, knight b6 check, king c7, knight c4. I think that's going to happen now. Um... Ooh, I can walk into real problems. Um, Alright, I've activated my rook. It's a useful start. It's also harder to get it forked now. Um, if you have that fork, I'm going to try to get into e3. Take c4. Let's take e5. Ah, got him on the clock. Did not deserve that one. So we'll give a rematch. I play the exchange alakine like everyone does in the Verozen variation, where you just get everything off the long diagonal you can. You uh, try to trade queens, but I think c5 is useful to insert. And then I've played... I always get the move orders here wrong. White has one of those, like, we all know white has a comfortable edge, but white does have to remember how to do it. I never remember how to do it. Can I take on c5? Have I not done it again? I have not done it again. Hmm. Huh. Every time. Yeah, let's go to d5. Disconnect them from d4. Probably e4. Knight d3. Looks annoying. Does look annoying. Yep. Yeah. Um, maybe knight f4 to question it. It is pinned. Uh huh. Clever. Okay. But I don't know that I die yet. Um, bishop b5 looks pretty good. Ooh, do I have knight d3? Hmm. Didn't have knight d3. But I almost had knight d3. Not so bad. It's not good. It's not so bad. D5, maybe sometimes come to F6. Let's avoid immediate demolishment. Uh, sit the bishop. They only have two seconds, so I am going to sneak this one out. Yeah. Alright, uh... This player's... Oops! No! No! Ah! I'm sorry, that was... I, I meant to click rematch. Hmm. Ah, uh, now I feel like bad sportsmanship, because I think when you uh, clock someone twice when they clearly outplayed you, you should give them another game. And I intended to and failed to, so I'm sorry. Apologize to my opponent. Do not like doing that. Yeah, I move-ordered this wrong. So this doesn't seem such a big problem. They can't really bring any other firepower at e6. So we'll drive them back. 
and then maybe keep pushing. They can play e5. Yeah. But they don't have knight e4, and that's something. Uh, really trying to get castled. Knight c5, I thought I had a queen c8. Or, you know, something of its ilk. Um, guess I gotta save the knight. <laughs> this is bad. Very bad. Bishop h7 is, of course, very annoying. Uh, now their queen is defended. I guess I'll grab stuff. Bishop b4, and I resign. Ooh. Do I have a way to not resign? Knight a6, rook c8, tempo. Yeah. Any way I can sneak over near their king? No, it just resigns. Ah, that was a disaster. <laughs> that knight g5 of them was uh, annoying. Alright, well, I'm glad we're giving a rematch to this player, because they obviously deserved it after having clearly outplayed me in the prior games. B7's a little loose. Do the trade on these terms. We blundered again. Yeah, well played. Alright. They got their win. They deserved it. That was terrible. Nicely spotted. Again, not... I don't think I've been tactically sharp in the defense the last few videos. Uh, but we got a titled player. So let's try to up our game a bit. I think I can just take a pawn here and... They don't have a ton for it. Castle, they take an e5. I play d4 because they can't take the second knight. And now maybe rook e1. Maybe bishop g5 is better to start with, but sometimes I want to be able to play knight g5. It's a little up in the air. Right, I'm on c7. Are they going to give it to me, or are they going to try to defend it? They're going to try to defend it. So now I can sort of inflict more weaknesses on them. Try to get into g7. Bishop f8 almost traps my queen. Wow. Uh, hit c7 again. Okay. I will take that because knight d6 check comes after and that ends the game. Alright. Uh, Got a win. I think I played that well, though I'm not entirely sure right about here. But Got there. I'm glad I remembered a d4 in the position where the second knight's hanging that that stuck in my memory, because it's been a while since I've looked at the theory of that one. Alright, uh, I think I'll one more game and I'll call it a night. Gotta eat something, too. It's late. Not great at filling the empty time, but we got a 3-0 Blitz titled arena coming out. I have not recorded any one I've played, and I only played one and it was a while ago. So it might be nice to play one of those and record, or a uh, titled Bullet Arena. Uh, I certainly won't do well as, you know, a lot of the IM and GM streamers, but I could pick up some wins. What's going on in the world of chess? Well, this will come out uh, much later than all this stuff is happening, but the Pro Chess League's been kind of exciting. Uh, I watched Nakamura take out the entire French team. That was pretty impressive. Uh, in a situation where if he gave up a single tie, uh, it was over. Until the final match against MVL, which he won. Uh, but he had to win two in a row and then not lose the one after. And he managed it. I'm going to try to play a6 and b5. If they give me the two bishops, I'm also okay with that. Uh, threaten bishop c4. One move threats are the way to go. Won't pre move bishop f1 in case they uh, went to d2 or something. Uh, for some reason, totally missed that they could take that. Let me go queen c3. Hit the rook, play a5. Rook b8, rook c8. Seem active enough. 
Maybe I could take their bishop in some universe, but I really, I really shouldn't bail out that easily. I just feel like the A pawn could be good. I'm gonna bail out. Terrible play. Do not emulate this. Yeah, what am I doing? Go from up material to like, this is a tough position, how am I gonna hold this? Uh, got the pawn on a3, so the bishop on f8 can defend it. Uh, that might be an annoying pin for them. But it might not be. Alright, gotta defend. My a pawn's pretty good though. Uh, that knight is not actually pinned. What are we doing? Try to get an a2. Okay, I don't see what they're trying to do. Do I get a queen? Alright, uh, 2,500. Uh, yeah. Juice. 